All right, guys. So uh, this is booking by Bonds. Uh, uncaged is it we'll call it. Oh, this yep. Uncaged. uncaged. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to talk about some Team Taz stuff. All right, guys. So early in the show, this is for tonight. Um, Taz teases that there's going to be an official Team Taz meeting. We need to get this business taken care of. You know, he hasn't seen Brian Case since Double or Nothing. And, and he says, you know, in, in an early segment, we need to refocus. And it starts with you, Brian Cage. Like, you're mm-hmm. the guy that needs to refocus because what happened last week, you know, on a, a Double or Nothing is important. So midway through Dynamite, uh, Taz, like Team Taz's music hits. Uh, Ricky Starks, who's wearing a neck brace and is walking with a cane because, you know, he got a little I, nudge. He's going full Andy Kaufman on this, right? Oh, like, yeah. He does not Okay. Exactly. He's limping. You yes. know, that little push that Brian Cage gave him is just giving him all the <laughs> time he wants to do that. So he's just being a total jerk. It's mm-hmm. hilarious. Hook and Hobbs come out too. Uh, you know, Hook and Starks have like a smug look on their face because they're the ones that cost Cage the match. Hobbs doesn't care. You know, he's like, whatever. I'm just here because I'm part of the stable at this point. Right. And uh, Taz is livid. Taz, you can just tell he's been he's been mad all week. Like he's been seething on this. Like I, uh, I need to talk to you, Brian Cage. This is terrible. You're ruining my stable. This is important to me. So Taz starts the segment off by saying how disappointed he is in Brian Cage's behavior. He's like, "You've been like a son to me, Brian. You know, and sons don't fight the brothers. You know, he's doing the full on Taz. Like you don't, you know what I mean? You're selfish. This is Team Taz, not Team Brian Cage. That's right." You know, Stuff. And and Ricky Starks interrupts him and he goes, "You don't need to explain yourself, Taz. You know, look at my neck. Look what he did to me. Now I have a broken neck, and he he injured me." Um, but then the, the lights just flicker off for a second, and then who can stop the path? The cage comes on. The crowd goes nuts. He's got a new entrance music. Even like everything is new about Brian Cage this week. New gear, I like it. everything. Um, to the stars, the orange and black. What does he ditch the orange and black? Or ah, not yet? Maybe not yet. Not it's yet. Pretty cool All looking. Right. All right. I don't know. I'm a big orange fan. Though. That might be a, that might be something that sticks around, but maybe right. just different gear. Um, so we'll see. So Cage has the FTW championship still over his shoulder. He's you could tell he's just kind of irritated. He comes out and he's just staring all these guys down the whole time. Taz is like, cut the BS. We need to talk business. All this stuff. You know, he's just being Taz. He's being mm-hmm. great. And and the whole time Ricky Starks is like goading Cage, like he's like messing around, like oh yeah, like doing his face stuff, like oh my neck hurts, uh, like look what you did to me, uh, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Taz starts off the promo again. He's like, hey, calm down, we'll figure this out. You know, I've been your advocate, Brian Cage. You wear a belt I gave you, and you're out there representing Team Taz like a punk. You know, hmm. he's he's basically calling him out. Starks and Hook give you a chance to beat Hangman, and you threw it in their face, literally. You know, you did nothing but disrespect them. What is going on in your head? And then Cage contemplates. He's like thinking about it, man. Like, what is what have I accomplished since I've joined Team Taz? That's what he asked Taz. He's like, what have I done? We've been recruiting guys and failing at it over and over again. First is Darby Allen, then it's Christian. You know, I've been told that this group is a cancer to my career, and I'm starting to believe it. Hmm. You know, so he's he's irritated at this point. He doesn't want to be part of it. I um, mean, I think that's important. You got to set you got to set that up, and it's I think it's being set up by what they're doing. You're, I mean, you look at the, the natural so. story of Brian Cage, and you do see like the guy has. You know, we've talked about it. He was on yeah. Tony's Mount Rushmore. The guy is absolutely um, a top tier talent, and yet, in some way, shape, or form, I feel like almost Taz's Taz's own personal beefs have caused him to get. Uh, distracted from being from success, right? I mean, Excellent. he's had they've had they've had all these intensely personal feuds, mm-hmm. really that have been fueled by Taz's pettiness. You know, feeling yeah. disrespected by by Darby, feeling disrespected by Christian, um, and it's it's really taken Brian Cage out of a focus where he's dialed in to go after a championship, and it's more like on these very personal petty feuds that Taz has had. So I can understand the frustration from Ke- Brian's uh, emo- like his character's perspective. Absolutely. For sure. Oh, for sure. And, and so Taz is like, you guys, you sound like you've already made your choice, you know, and he mm-hmm. kind of like nods at, at hook. He nods at Ricky Starks and, and Hobbs and, you know, Hobbs and, and hook kind of go around him. Like they surround him at this point. So he grabs FTW Bell, just they're about to attack, hits Hobbs in the head over with it. Oh, Hook, Hook goes for a you know, chop block and he misses it. So, so at this point, um, you know, there's some stuff going on. Team Taz is imploding. Um, 
but but Cage stomps Hook. He like stomps him out. He picks him up and gives him a drill claw. Oh, it's yeah. over. It's done. <laughs> like it, it's done. So basically, they reassemble on the stage. They're freaking out. Taz is screaming into the microphone. You just made the biggest mistake of your life, Brian Cage. This is over. The biggest yeah. mistake of your life. Like this is, it's done. But this is gonna be hot, right? It's hot, hot feud. So later in the show, they announced that there's gonna be a match between Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs next week on on Dynamite. So the, the war is finally starting. Um, and then that kind of ends the whole first part. You know, Cage gets a huge pop from the crowd when he portrays mm-hmm. everybody. He's, it's, it's he's a full on baby face now. It's official. So the feud builds through typical stuff with Team Taz. Exactly. You gotta you gotta change the land re landscape as we That's like right. to call it. <laughs> yep. By Venus. Yeah. It, it makes sense, man. I like What's it. Up, I mine, mean, they d- they definitely have been teasing this for a while. So Bonda, yeah. I, I think that like if if they lean into that in your first act, if AEW leans into some sort of really giving Team Taz a segment, giving them a moment to address what happened they at Double to. or Nothing, I think that it would make a lot of sense to start to lean into where you're you're trying to take the story. And that's the natural breaking, ripping the Band-Aid off and allowing Brian Cage to do what we've been – seeing he should do for months on end now and that's break mm-hmm. away from team taz focus in on his own career get himself right mentally not be focused in on all this petty anger like silly feuds and get dialed in similar to what we saw with miro do where like in one another one of bonds favorites where it's like uh, i'm taking away all this extra noise with kip, <laughs> kip sabian and penelope ford and i'm just going to focus in on trying focus to get some, getting a title and getting dominant right yeah. I, I like where you're going with this one so what happens in act two before dynamite starts in eight minutes oh man so act two basically starts off with this match right so starks and, and hook interfere during his match with with will hobbs um okay. hobbs gets the win and basically team taz is like gloating they're like yeah we beat you brian cage you need us kind of thing. wow um so so yeah hobbs goes over on on him the first match um because of the interference though tony's like you're having another match next week against hook now it's one one against hook so this is gonna be hook's first match on on dynamite is gonna be against brian cage Uh, not not the best start for your career i'm sure no Um, so in his first official match, Hobbs and Starks get involved, but you can tell Will Hobbs isn't like into the interference. Really, you can tell he's like indifferent this whole time. He's not really in, like he's kind of where Brian Cage was a month and a, a month or two ago, where he's like, "Man, mm-hmm. like this is stupid." You know, this guy was just my teammate, and I don't really mm-hmm. care. Like, but he's doing it because he's part of Team Taz. This is his job. He's doing his thing, but it doesn't really matter. And and Cage pins Hook. You know, he gives him another drill claw. It's over. So yep. like he gets the win back on on Team Taz. And and Taz is starting to freak out a little bit at this point. He's starting to like, hey, we need to recruit some people. We need to get this recruiting train back on. So the next couple of weeks, uh-huh. he's trying to find more people in there. Nobody wants to join Team Taz, just like before. Like nobody's interested. He gets TH2 though. They're like, hey, you know, we we joined HFO before for a week or two. Now we're gonna be part of Team Taz. And they're kind of just like, he's like, I, you're not par- officially part of Team Taz yet, but you guys, if you guys can take care of Cage, take care of him. Uh-huh. We're gonna you'll be part of this and you'll get part of the pay and you'll get, you'll be, you'll be part of team Taz officially. So basically during all of these matches, now that Brian Cage is having these ascending, he's getting attacked by, you know, at Helico, uh, Jack Evans hook and uh, Hobbs sometimes, but not often. Hmm. Um, but at a certain point, uh, this is coming out in the next match. He gets a win finally against Jack Evans um, in an official match and they start beating him up. Christian comes out. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, so All Christian, right. yeah, right. So Christian's had like a little bit Cage of interaction. With Brian Cage. That's right. Cage, Cage squared. Is, Cage squared. Exactly. And so <laughs> since Christian kind of gave him that advice to come out, I feel like he'd, he'd be like, oh, I'm responsible for this. So he comes out, helps Brian Cage. Um, They have a match officially against Hook and Hobbs where they're a tag team kind of, um, you know, right now. Yeah. But it, uh, it ends up being like, where they, they start attacking Christian now, too. It's not just, oh, we're mad at Brian Cage. This is kind of bringing Christian back into this whole feud. Which is, um, you know, at the end of the di- of double or oh, the, that battle royal, I mean, you saw Hobbs and Christian still were going at it, man. I mean, yeah. that, that feud does not feel like it's dead. That's for sure. No. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good feud because they, they did well together. Yep. Oh, they- yeah, for sure. It's it, I think that those guys have great chemistry. And so basically what happens next is, like, 
they beat Hook and they beat Hobbs. And they're like, Christian's like, dude, like you're you're in the same boat Brian Cage is in. He calls him out just like he called out um Brian Cage. He's like, like, why are you wasting your time fighting Taz's battles? Like, this isn't your fight. Like, why are you doing this? You don't even you're not even into it. Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. So basically, Taz interrupts Christian. He he's like, no, like this is my team. You're trying to take over my my stable. Like this isn't isn't how it's gonna go. Um, but to the shock of everybody, Hobbs pushes them off of Christian as they're gonna attack. He he quits Team Taz on the spot. Mm-hmm. Wow. He's he's done. And and I think that you guys will both agree, like he's got babyface vibes too. That was, I mean, when we go back to his early starts, I mean, his origins, SPD and I had a lot of conversations about that. And we both agree that he has awesome baby face, a a background story that you want to root for the guy. Um, And, and, you know, he could be one of those guys who can just be himself and get a pop. If it's really the only reason why he gets booed is because he's associated with Taz, right? His wrestling, his in-ring style is like a lot of fun to watch. He's He's a he's a big young kid who's got a great story and great great like vibe to him. It's just that he's associated with the loudmouth, right? So oh yeah, exactly. So so he's kind of a baby face, just his personality wise. So it mm-hmm. kind of works. He joins up with Christian and Cage, and so now uh, Taz fires TH two because he's like, "You guys didn't do your job. You're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys you guys are really bad enforcers. I'm you guys are out of here." Um, and Taz basically says, hey, we'll leave you guys alone if you beat my boys. And you're going to f- fight Hook and a mystery opponent. So this is going to be a big time, like, oh, man, who's the mystery guy, right? Um, he's like, but it's going to be in a Tornado TLC match. And so basically Christian did get attacked during that end bit, and he's got a concussion. I missed that part. So he's basically <laughs> out. So now it's Hobbs, yeah, right, and a concussion. So it's, so Hobbs, and Cage. it's Hobbs and Cage against Hook and a mystery opponent. Okay. And so the next – dynamite or however many dynamites you want um it could be set up for a couple of weeks just for for you know having some stuff build mm-hmm. uh they have this tlc match right and the mystery uh opponent is ricky starks who's back from his neck injury i like it so starks comes back they basically during brian Keaton's entrance they they attack them and hit them in the knees with chairs like <laughs> they're trying to get the the one up on him early Mm-hmm. Um, drag him to the ring. They keep going after Christian. Uh, but throughout the match, you start seeing it level out um, because of this, the, the size difference and the intensity. Um, and, and down the line, like, you know, they throw hook onto a double stack table, goes through oh. both tables that they set up. So again, they, they set themselves up for failure kind of thing. Um, and then Starks eats the pin by getting just demolished. I mean, by Hobbs and Cage is a, wow. a tag team. That's that's what, something I've wanted Team Taz yeah. to do since day one. So, yeah, talk about hosses, and we talked about hosses before. Yeah, that would be one awesome hoss team. That would be. It'd be freaking amazing. Like they should just. I mean, they should just dominate. And that's one of the frustrating things about Team Taz, right? Is those two should just absolutely tear up the, all of AW, and Taz doesn't focus them like that. Right, so I so like it. They build their own focus, mm-hmm. and you set up some other stuff too. Like you set up Ricky Starks and Hook as a potential tag team with Taz still doing their his team Taz stuff, mm-hmm. and you also have him do commentary on Rampage. That's what I want. I want this to That'd free him up to do commentary on Rampage because I think he'd be perfect for that. Have him be the, the so good on commentary. I oh yeah, he'd be three. awesome. Sixty second warning. Yep, yep. <laughs> We're getting there, boys. I can't wait. But um. So basically now it's like a almost a trio, but not really. Where mm-hmm. it's like Christian, Hobbs, and, and Brian Cage. Um, I honestly want Hobbs and Christian to be the team that kind of builds out of that. Where Brian Cage kind of does his own thing. Wow. You give Christian a chance to be on a team with Hobbs, uh, which would be kind of cool. I think that it would be um, – especially because you built that storyline through them in this feud. But they were, they, he's like gave him that kind of mentor advice, and he's the mentor that Taz never was. Um and so you kind of have that mentorship going on there where Brian Cage is ready to ascend and Hobbs is kind of at that next level underneath. And so you build like um, two tag teams out of this, um, a potential stable out of this as well, and you free up Taz for commentary and to be the manager for Hook and for Ricky Starks. I like that. And and like when, like when we hear about that, Bonds, we're starting up Dynamite now. So we'll, we'll hope to we're see what happens fuse. with Team Taz. I hope the fuse gets lit under Team Taz right now because they need it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you know a lot of the stuff that you did made a lot of sense there, Bonds. I, I really like Ricky Starks and Hobbs being paired, to, or Ricky Starks and uh, Hook being paired together. Hook is a young kid who can kind of learn from Starks, uh, who is a true star, man. We all think that Starks is going to blow up. 
Um, oh, yeah, for sure. But down, that down the road, the, the payoff, I want to see Starks versus Cage at some point. I love. Yeah. It just feels like it's meant to be. 